biggest chainsaw and a pole saw. I've worked on this one before, put a cover kit in it, ran it right, then played a bit, went and retuned it, it was fine, been fine for about six months. Um, he like, took it to his local civil deal um, recently, so I was in the hospital when this all happened, and they pumped it too. They suspected the carburetor, they put a brand new carburetor on here, didn't fix it, so I think now it's probably crank shields, seals, or maybe the motor's gone, so I'll pull this whole thing off the motor, off the pole, the screws and stuff here, and pull it apart and have a quick look. Pull the muffle off, look in the cylinder, and see if it needs a new motor or, you know, it's a um, arbor, so he needs it back, needs it back on truck, it's worked, um, so, so, but yeah, we'll see what's inside this thing. I'm not sure if it's an valve, two stroke or what it is actually, can't remember. Alright guys, we'll have a look inside. Drinking lots of water. Now, the motor is quite easy to get off. <coughs> um, realistically, um, there is a reason for that. Missing a mounting, mounting bolt. One of these bolts here. Feel one. That wasn't in there, so that was missing from the, that one there. So I'm not sure if it's stripped off a lot of that. But it's got, it's got compression. So I'm not sure why it's going to run properly. So it's quite a good compression when you pull the thing over. So yeah, it's got valves too, so I wonder if it's a burnout valve, I'm not quite sure. So I'll pull them off, off, have a look at the cylinder, see if the piston looks weird. But she's done some hours, but it still, it still should go, it really should. There's that poor fella. It still should go, and go properly. Unless a, a pulse line might be gone. I rebuilt the car before, but um, yeah, the, the mechanics these days, don't, I wouldn't call them mechanics, they call them, I call them fitters because all I like to do is fit new parts. And yeah, fixed. Yeah, what was really wrong with it? I put that, 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 that. Now it's fixed. Well, if you replace enough parts, it does get fixed because it's a new bloody motor. But yeah, I'll work out what it is. I think, I think it's going to be the crank seals myself because it's done a lot of work. And these seals, because they have a pole, there's a lot of tension. Um, lengthways on the crank, uh, side to side, so she might be worn out that way. The crank bearings, maybe. I can't feel that fly. Well, you see it I think it's a play in the bomb crank bear. Where's that flow all red? Let's see, uh, where's the magnet? There's the magnet. I'm away from the magnet. Hang on, guys. I pause you. I don't think there's any play in the bearing. It's my feeling, maybe I can't re replicate it on the off the video. Re replicate it off video, it just doesn't feel right. I can feel them moving there, but I can't do it. I'll hang on. I'll put my hand up here and wield it, but I couldn't feel it. But pushing down here, but it could be plastic right on there. Who you knows? So I'm gonna pull this thing down and see if I find out what the issue is. It's gonna have compression, but as far as I know, it's a two stroke. Uh, yeah, two straight, four straight. So we've got valves, they normally wear out because no one gets them serviced. And you burn your valve out, it doesn't work properly. Um, I just throw away a good hustle, uh, not hustle, a good um, Honda motor. And it was no good for that because I bet they had burnout valves. So uh, you certain now you meant to get, um, certain now you meant to get them adjusted. Yeah, I don't know, I'll pull apart. Well, I might use two stroke petrol, so that's about as far as it is. Um, it's got four stroke valves with two stroke fuel. Now, I know, noticed this um, gas he's gone to split, but that would need him playing out the motor. It wouldn't affect the motor at all. But why am I that? That's the pulse line. That pulse line's hard. I can't get off the base there. It's stuck on the motor. But when the car goes in, it slides in and out really easy. So I'm wondering. It slides in. It's firm, but it's not now. As it gets hot, will it be not pumping enough air or making the, the fuel pump work properly? I'm not quite sure. That's about the only thing that I can find. So if that's not pumping the right way, these things are quite precise, especially small motors. The other part I was looking at was, um, come here. Oh, oh, let me come. The other part was the intake, too. The intake uh, bolts there. Um, you stay there. That's the idea. The intake there, the gasket for that. Which is this one here. Which is um, causing a vacuum problem. 
if it's across one side and not down the bottom. So, might be sucking air. So, I might ring the owner up and say, What was it doing um, this time? So, this one here's a bit more squashed. I placed all these last time, but um, whoever pulled apart um, must have put glue on it. I didn't do that. Don't even remember doing that. But I'll have to do that, um, putting these back with glue on it. Unless I get the kit. The kit for this was very expensive. And it came with a few um, gaskets. Then you come with all the gaskets, so I was quite surprised. I saw the bottles and stuff. His uh, spark plug was burning pretty good. So I saw it was playing up. Not too bad, I suppose. There you go. Not too bad. Probably running a bit too rich. There's too brown. Yeah, too brown. But yeah, I'm going to bring that up and find out what, what it was actually doing. Because he just said, get, get the go calf. All right, I'll bring him up. Well. Yeah, and they dropped you. Well, I just spoke to the owner and asked him what was going on. He said, um, this thing overruns. Um, it's um, overruns when you rev the thing. When I come back down to oil. And you, when you want to oil, you won't stay idling, so you keep revving it and it'll die otherwise. So it sounds like carby, so uh, it sounds like an air leak or something, but um, it's different. I, I'm not quite sure. I might look back in that carby. But they put a new carby on this, still plays up. Now this is two stroke um, fuel, but it's four stroke design, so um, there's no crankshafts, um, vacuum, no crankshaft or crank cylinder um, suction, because your fuel and everything goes through here, out the back of the exhaust, so fuel's not going down here. Actually, it is it? It has to. There's no oil. Maybe. Uh, how does that work? It's got me thinking now. What well, feels like the bottom? Well, I don't know. I think about this. Maybe that's what's causing it. Right. Nice to have something that's different, a change. So, I couldn't get this off normally by waking up with a hammer. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So, I modified this puller for small chainsaws. Like, I think it was for um, a 170 or 180 for those little stills. So drill these holes there a bit brighter, take these five millimeter, uh, five millimeter balls and just dab it a uh, whack with the impact driver and pop straight off. So um I'll have to take it off all the light. So I bowl out, take that off. So one thing, um you gotta have fuel, you gotta have air, you gotta have compression, you gotta have spark, now got spark, got compression. Well where the extra fuel and air is coming from make it run and carry on like a dickhead so um there must be a leak somewhere in the bottom end but how's the bottom end getting fuel well how, how do they keep yourself lubricated so that's got me wondering now so there must be something come on come on try it's not the fault there yeah. so that's the flywheel it's got a key weight actually in the flywheel so it's all right so my wondering is now, the fuel's going in that side there for the um, motor sucking in, goes through a valve and goes bang. Now, what lubricates the bottom? I can't see. And there's no oil in input, so that's what got me wondering. Maybe it is a seal. Could be a seal this part here with a lot um push rods go. Not quite sure. Maybe, not sure. Um, But there's, there's a seal there off that part there. Now, that looks quite dumb. A lot of movement's been there, not quite sure. I must do a compression test somehow. But this piece, I, I swore I could feel movement in that. I can't do it on the camera though. Maybe the seals are gone. But what lubricates the bottom end of these bars? There must be some fuel getting there somehow. The only thing I can think of, fuel goes through this pipe and it lubricates the bottom. If that's the case, how's the fuel get burnt? Where does it go to from there? It has to go back up to here, so got me stem for guys. I'm pulling things apart and trying to find what's going on, but yeah, I'm gonna put this video up. Um do you guys know anything about these things? Um I don't pull the whole thing apart, but maybe I'll have to. I probably won't pull that off. But I can't work out. Fuel goes in the top, exhaust comes out the side as a four stroke, but it uses two stroke petrol to lubricate. So some of the fuel must get down the bottom but how does the fuel get used up or how does it lubricate how does it get down there how does it use it up yeah 
did a wee one. So, and you guys know how the glory is there. Still, um, HT1 free one. Well, right, guys, over and out. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> My son just came out to help me. I got talking to him, and I always just sing out. I know what it is now. But anyway, he walked off. He started going, Dad, it hurts, it hurts. I said, what? He said he had an ant in his pants. He pulled out the Australian green ant. He just cracked it, biting him. <laughs> I don't know how it got there, but yeah, that would feel hurt like crazy. Now, I'll work this out, guys. Now, if you had a four-stroke motor, you got normally two rings and then a third ring with your oil arm ring. That seals the bottom of the motor up. So I would say this has got, uh, so your air fuel goes in through here, goes and somebody goes past the piston ring, and they comes down and lubricates that, or somebody goes here. But some of that fuel must go back up for there as well, otherwise you get a sump full of petrol. But um, that explain why um, if this gets a leak here, your crank seals, it causes it to run leaner and go up and down, up and down. So might have a burnout valve too, but um, yeah, I think it must be a, um, a, a seal somewhere has popped. Yeah, I'd say a seal. But yeah, anyway, anyway I've had this one. Yeah, I'm pretty well sure now. There's no other way for um, fuel to get down there. Fuel has to get to its bottom part here to lubricate the bearing, so yeah, that's what I think it is. One ring, lets a bit of fuel down the bottom, and lets the fuel back up somehow, so yeah. Yeah, it would be that too. Yeah, fuel will go down here, come back up to here, lubricate. Only a tiny, tiny bit, um, a little bit, but um, yeah, it's enough oil up here, so yeah. It's, yeah. It gets to go back in time, but yeah, I think it's a like air leak. All right, guys, I'll download this for you, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's what I'll find the last in there. Well, I finally worked this thing out. It's quite simple. So I'll try and film for you guys. Now, there's the inlet just there. It's where fuel and, air go <coughs> fuel and air goes in here to um, give the, uh, so the, yeah, the sore um, energy. So it goes up in there into an intake valve. Now, in that intake there, there's actually a hole. For the top is here, and they go into the intake, um, so intake port there. So, as our fuel gets in, the fuel will go in here, lubricate the valves because the valves are de lube, and the fuel um, vapor then will drain back down these push rod holes. Now, once it's gone down there, they lubricate the bottom of the crank, and the carby sucks the excess up through this pulse line. So this pulse line acts act as a um, a pulse and also a fuel scavenger and start the whole thing over again. So what caused the problem? Tabaco. That gasket. That gasket is bro um, broken. So that would be introducing an air leak. So once you introduce an air leak, it starts playing up like a normal two stroke. Two strokes has to have a closed circuit and it has to be controlled. Um, so everything has to be where it should be. But this is already broken when I pulled off. And typical still. Now if still had made that part there a skirt all the way around, um, like the rest of the skirt like that, that gasket would stay there. So that gasket would fluctuate every time the piston gets up and then be a fluctuation. Not much, but enough over time it'll break that gasket. So it's desired to break. <laughs> As it was I'm from filming bolts, I can't find out where the bolt is for this. I was wondering. Did this bolt have a gasket and should it should have a, um, a screw, uh, uh, power gasket or um, cork gasket or something? I can't find which one it was. But all my screws are about too long. That's the wrong one, too. So, yeah, anyway, that's right. It's all right. Oh, that part. I was looking at going to uh, this part here. See the red glue there? I clean, I degree the whole thing carefully without getting water or stuff in the. Um, the spark plug holes so are upside down. I was bang bang all out like a press there, but um yeah, it's, that's how it lubricates. So air goes in and and lubricates the whole thing up through that side. Let's see, but there you go, the bad view. Just get the air gets sucked up through here. So every time the air shuts off the intake, the extra air pushes up here and lubricates. Any leftover fuel runs back down these drain holes here. And it lubricates and sucks back up here. So, interesting circuit. I've learned something today. I like it when I learn something. So, yeah, interesting. It says steel still. But I guarantee this has made in China. So, a Chinese made steel. It still used to be good, good stuff. But there's no, no more. Look at that stupid bloody gasket. 
cheap ass to look at. It looks like it's made to jump cork too. Alright guys, I'm glad I solved that now at this part. Alright guys, I'll bring the other up there until what I found wrong with. Alright guys, over and out.